The word contract migration itself means moving to a more evolved operating system. Accuracy and speed are critical when migrating procurement contracts from legacy systems into SAP Ariba. Traditional manual processes are tedious and error prone, and a validation error on a single contract file can cause a batch of hundreds to be rejected. And starting off from scratch multiple times can make projects last longer than planned initially. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about seamless contract migration. Hello, great that you're watching this video. My name is Hilke Dijkstra and in the past year I've been performing contract migration within Ariba Contract Management for a client of ours. As a procurement consultant with McCoy & Partners, I help clients in setting up Ariba to ensure their procurement processes run smoothly. So on a high level, when you want to perform contract migration, you need to collect all the contract information from the contract repository systems that you want to phase out. And with that, you can populate the contract repository template provided by Ariba to start cleansing and enriching your data. And afterwards, you create or generate the four required CSV files to put in zip files, which needs to be uploaded separately. They have some restrictions, which I will explain further on. And ultimately, you can use the legacy contract import feature in the Ariba interface to load the zip files into Ariba to create your contract workspaces. That's a lot to digest for now, so pause the video whenever you like. Now let's look at it a little more pragmatically. When you want to create your CSV files and then put them in a zip file, it is recommended that you or someone else creates a tool to automate this process for you. As Ariba doesn't deliver a one-size-fits-all solution for this. And last year I've used C Sharp Code that did the following. It read information from the contract repository template, then it transformed the data line by line, followed up by writing the data to CSV files, and then the tool zipped the files containing all the CSV files and documents. The tool repeated these steps when a maximum of 100 MB was reached for the zip file. Now let me show you what in our case needed to be done with the following demo. So to start off, here we can see our source folder, our destination folder, and also our tool folder. To start off with the source folder, you can find here the three CSV files that we are going to use for this uh, conversion. And you can see that uh, uh, the documents CSV is excluded here, because that one is being generated based on all the anonymous files that are in here, and based also on the XML file that is included. Um, this is of course an example and this is really a, a client's particular case but this gives you an idea how it can be done. So when we go then to our tool folder, we start up the tool of our source map and our destination map. We start it. In the background all the zip files are being generated. And you can see those are seven in total. And you can also see how many contracts are in each zip file. It's recommended that you use this because then you can really know how many contracts are in each zip file and it makes it easier uh, for testing purposes and to find contracts back in your system and to actually know what you're doing. Because Ariba doesn't provide too much information when you're uh, manually uploading each zip file on which file you have used, for example. So this makes you able to track everything a little bit better. So when we open one up, for example, we can see all the contracts documents being here inside and all the four CSV files that we need for uh, the upload in Ariba. So when we open one up, you can see that this particular one has four contracts. And then here we have our log file, and this one can be used to put information inside, like uh, files that you have used are larger than 100 MB, or you have used illegal characters that cannot be put inside all the particular zip files, because Ariba in the end will not accept it. So those are rules that you can put inside your code to make it a little bit more easier for yourself. And with this, I hope you get the idea and to make a conversion tool yourself. So, now that you've seen the conversion, I want to share 10 lessons with you that I've encountered. To begin with, 
One, special characters like an E with a diuresis, a slash or an ampersand are simply not allowed in the title of the contract workspace or in the naming of the documents. Naming of the documents needs to match exactly in all CSV files, otherwise the load will fail. Two, make use of a custom made tool to speed up the conversion to zip files. This is really the most time consuming part. Try to fill up the zip files to 100 MB, otherwise you will need to upload a lot of zip files and this is a manual process, so automating this is really recommended. Then number three, contract IDs in all CSV files need to be exactly the same, otherwise your upload will fail with the error user null. And we don't want to have that, of course. Number four, um, if you might have special characters like Latin American characters, in the description, they are allowed, but will be transformed in a question mark in Arriba. Therefore, it is better to transform these characters in normal Western characters before uploading. Then number five, your upload will fail if the master agreement is not yet in Arriba or not in the lines of your contract CSV file before your sub-agreement. It is advisable, therefore, to structure your data to upload all master agreements first, and then the sub-agreements, and finally, all your standalone agreements. Number six, amount and currency need to be in one field, otherwise the amount will be possibly loaded with a wrong currency value. Then number seven, all the data in the contract CSV file is case sensitive, so make sure that it's exactly the same as in the master data. Then number eight, make sure all documents have a name, otherwise it is possible that they can't be clickable in certain browsers and therefore cannot be downloaded on users' computers. And then number nine, it is not possible to mass edit contract or document descriptions. Uh, and therefore it is recommended to take your time to make sure everything is valid. And last but not least, number 10, sometimes when a mistake is made when populating the contract teams.csv, uh, Ariba can assign or create an unwanted group to a contract workspace. It is time consuming to modify this as it is then not recognized by the mass edit functionality to erase in NAS. Do you have any questions regarding contract migration and do you want to share your experiences and share this with the community or do you have further recommendations on how to make this process less time consuming or error prone? Leave a message in the comments. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more episodes, until next time.